Well, hello there. This is Ricky Bush Racing, and welcome to Australia, Bathurst, Mont Panorama, for another race in the Blank Pond Sprint Series. This is a hard track. Not gonna lie, this track scares the shit out of me. But luckily, for once, I did a solid qualifying lap. Uh, I will be starting from 5th with a 204.9, and I'm the 14th car. Enjoy the race, guys. Let's see if I can survive this. 40 minutes around the mountain. Hopefully. Here we go. Well, as you can probably see, the weather isn't Australia nice. Uh, it's pretty cold. Uh, and I'm having real issues putting together a quick lap time in these cold conditions. I don't know why, but I am. I know the track should be faster, but I'm slower. I was yesterday in practice. I did, uh, or in an official practice session. I did high two or threes. Um, I joined this session, the race session, uh, half an hour before the race, just to get some uh, get some more practice, and I couldn't get a a time under 2:05 in this weather. So um, I just I just don't get it. Why cold tires? Okay, we survived the first lap around the mountain. This is my first race here on Bathurst. Uh, I did do a couple of training laps here for last season since Bathurst was in the Black Pond Sprint Series last season as well, but I was, I was just too damn slow to race it and I didn't have enough time to practice. Um, but it's, uh, it's an awesome track and a really difficult track. Uh, located in Australia, obviously, it's probably best known for the 12 Hours of Bathurst, who I believe it's on the 3rd of February um, this year. Uh, it's, if I remember this correctly, last year an Australian team won in a McLaren 650S in a pretty awesome race. Um, the V8 Supercars cars also have a major event here every year, it's called the Bathurst 1000. That's in 1,000 uh, kilometers. I love this turn here. You really want to keep it real tight. Um, there's a bump or something on the outside. And you have to lift here, uh, unless you want to die. Gotta say, I love this track though. The thing is, you don't have any... An off-track isn't even possible here. If you off-track, you hit the wall and you die. Instantly. Death. This is a turn where I had real big problems joining this session. In the warmer sessions, I could break way later than I, uh, than I can now. In the practice session just before the race, I spun the car there like three times. So we are actually up in fourth. I I sure hope I can keep my fourth position here, but I'm I'm seriously doubting that. I did a pretty pretty good qualifying lap. Um, for once. And I know guys are just driving cautiously on the first couple of laps here, so um, 
a 2063 just isn't good enough. But we'll see. Hopefully we can get down to the high 204s. Um, if not the 205s obviously. But yeah, coming back to Bathurst, it's uh, it's actually a street circuit as it runs on public roads during races. Or it's a track built on public roads which are still being used when there is not race weekends here. And some of the houses here up on the mountain is only accessible by uh, by this road, so uh, I bet they have a pretty they have a pretty hard time getting to their houses on, uh, on race weekends. Um, and obviously when it's not race weekends you can drive on the track or drive on the roads or whatever. Uh, I read that they have the police uh, really enforce the speeds often here though, so uh, we won't be setting any lap records here. Uh, and speaking of lap records... Uh, <laughs> it feels real hard talking and driving. Uh, Jensen Button has the unofficial lap record here at a... I think he did a 148 something in a Formula 1 car here, which sounds crazy, but yeah. Uh, and I think it was the same Formula 1 car that we have in iRacing. Um, but it isn't the official record since it wasn't officially recorded. The official lap record was set last year, which was a 201 something in the same McLaren GT3 that I think ended up winning the race, the Australian team. The problem is the guy in fifth, which is the number one car. I bet he just screwed up his qualifying lap. He's um, gaining on us. I think that was the guy in the McLaren. Yeah, the Grip TV uh, livery McLaren. Just look how much he gains on me on the uh, straightaway here. I got a pretty bad exit as well, but... I'm running pretty high arrow. Just because I don't want to die. Just lose concentration for like a half a second here up on the mountain. You, you're not gonna make your apexes and you're gonna die. It's a lot like the Norsk life, but this is even for for just a short while while you're up on the mountain. This is more intense than the Norsk life. You really don't want to hit that wall. That was ballsy. Wow. He made it stick though. Pretty good move. I... If I were to make that move, I would have never trusted the guy on my outside there to keep his line. I, I know I'm going way too slow uh, on enter in turn 1, but I, I want to set up my exit to get the uh, the best exit possible. The, uh, the car just gets so loose on the, under acceleration exiting turn 1. I actually haven't seen any wrecks so far, have we? We got to do thunder braking. The mountain has been pretty nice to us so far. Maybe they uh, they've wrecked behind us. 
I don't know. Real bad lap time coming here. has been an awful lap. <laughs> the thing is about this track is if you have a um, if you have a clean race here you could gain a lot of uh, safety rating uh, and I'll probably need it since some I at least I plan on doing the IMSA race on Lime Rock Park uh, which should be a wreck fest I would imagine um, so hopefully we can keep the incidents low in this race and survive and on a completely different subject, I read that Project Cars will actually have a safety rating system when it launches, which is great news for those who give a fuck about Project Cars. Probably no one does, but still. Turn 1 here is called Hell Corner. <laughs> And it's often, it's a common misconception due to all the accidents that happen in turn one. Um, but Hell Corner was actually named after the tree stump that existed on the, uh, of the apex of the, of the turn. Uh, it was believed that if you would hit the, uh, the stump in a motorcycle, you would probably die instantly, but you would be deemed uh, an eternity of death or some shit like that. Anyway, you're just thinking of hitting a bump on a motorcycle, or even driving a motorcycle around Bathurst would, uh, would be a death simulator. Even worse than the uh, Nissan GTP on North Life. And my wish has come true. The guy in sixth is now caught up to us, so um, not feeling the pressure at all, guys. And as usual, it shows through my driving. These are not good lap times. I'm not driving. Uh, I'm not driving good right now, unfortunately. Hopefully, we can uh, pick up some speed here the longer the race goes. I am using Renz Brokeman's setup from uh, Virtual Racing School. Actually, I really like his setups. I think they're great. Uh, they're great for the most part. Even though I feel I could probably, at least in the race, uh, use a lower wing setting to, uh, to get some more speed along the straightways. We still hold fifth, so that's pretty good. Um, considering I'm the 14th car, holding sixth or even uh, no, holding fifth or even sixth would be a pretty good result. But we got a long way to go. I'm thinking this race will go around 20 laps. Um, I actually did some calculations for what I need to, uh, how much fuel I need to add for once. I know the track should be faster when it's colder and the, uh, the track temp is lower, but I feel like the I'm not feeling it at all. I felt like I had way more grip um, when we had clear skies. I don't understand the grip levels in iRacing racing though, so uh, whatever. What did you guys think of uh, think of Daytona this weekend? 
I watched a lot of different streams uh, from Daytona, from different streamers and YouTubers and stuff. Uh, I know they had obviously the server issues, which sucked. They made your or giant cock, but it was still a great event. It actually had over 2,700 players in 13 splits with over 50 cars in each of the splits. That's a pretty, pretty crazy considering it's a freaking 24 hour race. I just, uh, I just love the way, uh, or what iRacing is doing with their special events. I, I, th I honestly think they do an awesome job. Uh, and I hope someday I will be a part uh, of an endurance race or a special event race or whatever. Next special event race is the 12 Hours of Sebring, which should be a blast as well. I don't remember which cars it was though. It might have been the new Porsche, maybe. I saw a tweet that it's now in the second improvement Porsche by Porsche stage. I have no idea how many stages of improvement Porsche has for their uh, for their cars in games, but hopefully we'll uh, we'll see it rather sooner than later. Everything said January, so uh, it's getting close. So yeah. Um, last week I did both the IMSA on Watkins Glen and the Formula Renault on Sebring. The IMSA race I spun after the bus stop um, and I just couldn't re rejoin the track until the, after the entire field had passed. It was just a pretty shitty race uh, and not that interesting so I didn't even bother to, uh, to upload it. Uh, and my bad luck continued in the Formula Renault, I had a solid 7th place, but on the last freaking lap, the guy in front of me... Uh, the guy in front of me spun his car and I hit him, full force, and I, the car was just undrivable, so I had to tow it to the pits. The amount of frustration after that race was... Uh, yeah. I ended up in like 15th position, or uh, 16th, I don't remember. Uh, but this week it's on Solver. I won't be doing Formula Renault for a while though. Uh, I've just had the worst of luck the last four or five times I've done Formula Renault series uh, races. So, uh, yeah. And we go up the mountain again. We're actually keeping uh, the guy behind us behind us. Which is good. Even though you, you can uh, overtake on the mountain, you would be. I'm not gonna say stupid, but completely messed up that turn. Um, it wouldn't be smart at all. Um, so the only two places you can. Uh, God, it's hard to speaking through this section of the track. Uh, the only uh, two sections. Jesus Christ, I got loose. Okay, here we go. Third time. Uh, the only two places is the uh, into the braking here uh, of the turn that comes up just ahead of us here, and on the uh, the straightaway after the start finish line. So, um, but it's it's getting closer, unfortunately. Hitting the undercutter. So now I need a couple of quick laps here. And I completely mess up turn one. Uh, 
but yeah, Imsaya is on Lime Rock Park this week, and it, uh, it will probably be a wreck fest. Such a narrow track for multi-class racing. Uh, it still sounds like a lot of fun though, so uh, I'll probably do it. I mean, they do it in real life, so uh, why can't we do it in iRacing? I think Camel GT is on Canadian Motorsport, uh, Motorsport Park. Uh, that could probably be a pretty fun combo. But the trouble I find uh, having uh, official races in Camel GT will uh, probably prevent me from doing it, unfortunately. Feels like I'm saying it every video, but yeah. The thing is, the most popular spots for uh, Camel GT is on Thursdays, Saturdays and Sundays I believe. Uh, and for the most part I, I can't race on Thursdays, Saturdays or Sundays. So. But Camel GT has got a lot of fun tracks coming up. I think... Uh, let's see if I remember this correctly. I think it's Watkins Glen next week, which should Hopefully see some participation, and after that it's the uh, hugely popular Road America, so... Uh, guys, I have started pitting. Um, yeah. Leader pitted now. We pitted pretty early. Some reason. I'm down in the 205s, 205s, uh, which is good. I need to be quicker though. I think I might pit, pit here the last lap, yeah. Or this lap. I really want to put in some uh, some good lap times here to prevent him from uh, undercutting me, but... Uh. I'm kind of driving cautiously. This track is sort of a wreckfest track. Uh, like I said before, there's just no room for error, so uh, yeah. I'm holding fifth at the moment, so uh, we're still doing pretty good. I can do one more lap here, so uh, we're gonna do one more. And I haven't practiced my pit entry. Such a freaking idiot. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. It's got a pretty strange pit entry batters, doesn't it? I don't remember. Yeah. Full focus face. Well, as soon as I say that, I completely mess up my line.
<laughs> the mountain is pretty intense, let's just say that. So yeah, we're about to uh, we're about to pit here. Just trying to remember how the uh, pit entry what it looks like. Pull off his undercut, but he took me there. Wow. A nice move. Nice move. The tires are kind of cold from the uh, from the pit stop. I'm scared of shit to uh, to break into the last turn of the uh, mountain there. Feels like I'm losing the rear every time. I think I might have uh, I need to change my brake balance. But, yeah, that's too late now. And I'm losing this guy as well. Wow. I looked through uh, Frederick Rasmussen's iRacing page, uh, page last night. Um, well, he's kind of good. Um, though he didn't do the last two races in the Blank Pond, he didn't do the race on Daytona. Uh, or on Nürburgring, the six races he did before that on Spa, he won all six. Before that, he did, uh, if I remember this correctly, he did two or three races on Interlagos and won them too. Um, and it wasn't the 2000 strength of fields either, it was the five and six thousand strength of field races. So, um, yeah, it's an, he's an alien, I guess, quite impressive. I'm too. Uh, I'm too old. That's what I'm. Uh, that's my uh, number one excuse. Or my main excuse. I really want to stay in this guy's draft, uh, and I'm right on the edge. Yeah, we got a left guy, that's a left guy in the white car. I'm just outside of draft range now. They gained over half a second in uh, that section behind us, strangely, even though I messed up as well.
one second behind him. The guy behind us is one and a half seconds behind us, so he's in draft range as well. I really don't want to lose my sixth position here. I kinda lose the guy in front of me in the first part of the mountain and I gain on him uh, the last part of the track, the last two or three sections of the track. Even though I lose time in the last turn behind us there, I'm just over breaking every time because I'm scared. I really don't want to catch this uh, this left car up on the mountain though. Hopefully he'll uh, let us pass here on the straightaway. Getting quicker at least. This is such a fun track, I actually feel like uh, like doing this again. Thank you sir. Good day. Uh, I usually only do these races uh, once per week, so... Um, unless I really screw up. Bathurst got a lot of mean, uh, got a lot of mean curves. That is definitely one of them. I don't know how many of you watch Formula One, uh, but I'm pretty excited about the new cars in Formula One. It's only, it's only two months away until the first race of the uh, of the calendar which is in uh, Australia the new course looks pretty awesome um, kind of had it with Mercedes uh, Mercedes winning every race um, I know most teams plan to rebuild their cars late February um, so that should be exciting uh, obviously about three bottles from Williams will be Hamilton's new teammate, which was announced a week ago after being rumored for quite a long time. Don't quite understand why Williams would let Bottas go though. Remember in 2015 when Ferrari wanted him, they wouldn't let him go, but they let him go for Mercedes. I'm guessing money was just too good to say no. As another surprise to Phil Bottas' seat, Felipe Massa comes back from retirement uh, for one more year, which is which is fun, I guess. I don't know. But I bet he will be a pretty good mentor for uh, for Lance Stroll, the Formula Three uh, champion. 
we will be driving alongside uh, Felipe Massa next season, uh, this season. And if you want to buy a Formula 1 team, Manor Racing is for sale. Uh, they had an offer I read that might actually save their 2017 season. I don't know if they have any drivers though, so yeah. Pascal Verlein got a huge downgrade and it's not driving for Sauber for this year. Um, it was pretty upset that Sebastian Ocon got the chance with Force India instead of him. So, if their season is saved, I don't know who is supposed to drive for them. Uh, and Kevin Magnussen replaced Esteban Gutierrez as Romain Grosjean's teammate in Haas. Looks like uh, Esteban Gutierrez will be in Formula E next season. And to complete this Formula 1 upgrade... <laughs> Bernie Ecclestone, the F1 boss, who has been the F1 boss for 40 years, uh, have now stepped down or been fired or whatever. Chase Carey will take his job, which sounds positive to me. The, the sport or the uh, Formula 1 as a whole have gone downhill the last couple of years, it feels like. So it should be positive, at least it is in, uh, in my opinion. I'm just excited getting all the motorsports started again. The real IMSA 24 hours. Uh, the real IMSA 24 hours on Daytona is this weekend. Starts on Thursday. Um, oh my fucking god, that was close. I'm talking too much. Uh, and then obviously we have the uh, next stop after the IMSA race is the Bathurst 12 hours, so uh, on February the 3rd. Well, we got a lot of fun motorsport events coming up this season. Should be a good year overall. So yeah, maybe two laps to go. One or two laps to go. Well, let's see if we get a white flag here once we pass the, uh, the start-finish line. I'm still holding sixth. We got our friend uh, Daniel. Not even gonna try to pronounce his last name. Still behind us, which is good. Basically, what I need to do is keep him behind me along the straightaways here. He won't pass me on the mountain unless he's crazy. The guy in 5th is actually catching the guy in 4th, or we, we, we're all catching the guy in 4th. Bad exit. Now he's just too close. Definitely feeling the pressure here. Pretty good mountain. A pretty good mountain. <laughs> I did pretty good up on the mountain that lap, which is important. That's uh, that's where you would gain or lose a lot of time. So I gained seven tenths just on one lap from the guy behind us. So that's good. Uh, we have enough fuel to finish the race. I, my catch, uh, calculations are actually right. I added 7.7 .7 gallons of fuel. Wow, 
white flag. Thank you. I don't have the pace to uh, to catch the guy in front of us, so um, my main goal here is just to keep the guy behind us. Behind us. Thank you. Oh, welcome, sir. Even though it hasn't been the most exciting race, uh, it's been a pretty good race for me. If I don't fuck this up. Uh, I only have one incident. Almost got loose there. Um, and I mean, uh, as the 14th car in 6th place, that's... Uh, that's pretty good. I think we're good. He's almost a second behind us. What an awesome race. Let's see if I do this again. Okay, I'm not gonna jinx it, but unless I completely fuck up here, we will hold on to the sixth place here. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty damn exhausted. <laughs> Gonna grab myself a cold one after this race. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you next time. Unless I die here, I survived six. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Surprise, motherfucker!